Hi everybody, it's Saturday, June 12th, 2021. Have a little tour of the garden here. These here are just some gladiolas that came back from last year. Now our region's uh, southern Indiana. You can hear the cicadas in the background. They are quite noisy, but very interesting. Trying some different fertilizer mixes in these pots. Everybody rants and raves. All oh, these smart pots are the way to go. And I know container gardening is getting more, more and more popular. Now what I've done is come in and, for example, this row right here, put in some... Uh, Oh, it might be some baby bok choy or different spots you'll see along the way where we've tucked in some lettuce and carrots and radishes and things like that just in between. Some peppers and eggplants, the mints. Gonna have to get on that. Some kind of insect is eating the green beans. tomatillos, more mints, some more green beans, tomatoes, there's some lettuce in that row, I don't know if you can kind of see it along there, they're just popping up, they've only been in for about eight days, got some corn popping up over there, more uh, bush beans, we got some uh, gourds popping up here, and over here, loofah, bitter melon, those are yard long Asian beans. They're again tucked, stuff just tucked in here and there and everywhere. There's some uh, spring onions popped in here and there. I believe that, that's hard to say, I'll know in another week or so, turnips or uh, There's some beets down at the other row. And what do we have here? On June 12th, we got the first red tomato. There you go. Everybody says if you can get first tomatoes by 4th of July, you've done good. Well, here we are, June 12th. Some mixed flowers in here, some dahlias, geraniums, cleome. And one of my most favorite flowers, fuchsia. Got different colors of them around the rose garden here. Lots of fruit this year. Pears starting to weigh down the branches. Some apples. Peaches. And, oh my gosh, look at the cicadas. For anybody that's not around to give it some scale, these critters, they do not bite, they do not sting. They've been out for about a week and uh, two weeks or so. Wow. I hope that camera's picking all that up. That is a lot of cicadas. If you can hear me over the sound of them, they say the decibels, and that's what they look like when they come out, the cocoon. So they're coming out here. They're going to mate. 
and then the females are going to come and lay their eggs on the underside of the branches somewhere under here she'll come in there and lay her eggs then them eggs are going to after I don't know exactly how long a couple weeks or so the eggs drop into the ground and they'll stay there in 17 years they'll come back out like that pop out wow that is a lot of cicadas I was running a weed eater earlier and I had about 30 of them land on me in just five minutes time but they're harmless and the nice thing is at night they do get quiet at night so for some reason they really like the pear trees there must be something about the pear trees they really like now a week ago they were all up in the tops and now they're down here the ones that make the noise are the boys if you pick them up see if I can get one to talk Not sure. Get a quick peek at some bees. And it doesn't seem to be that the bees are bothered by the cicadas or vice versa. But they're definitely really, really heavy on the pears for some reason. This one's a talker, but I don't want to talk now by the microphone. That one's a good one right there. Cicada just landed on their their hive, but I see some carrying pollen in there. I'm sure they're bringing a lot of nectar in there, and that's not any kind of real major issue. It, it is really hot and humid out here. We don't quite have a bee beard going on the hive, um, but this one's a really good one. Grab a cicada. If we throw it at the entrance and really tick them off, it left right away. It probably knew. We have a quick little walk down here and look at the hops in the pond. Once we get away from the trees, the cicada noise isn't quite as bad. Last week I could hear it over in the forest over there, and uh, but they've really all come out. The ground got warm enough. But there's the hops yard doing really well. A lot of those are three year old uh, hops roots now, so they're really producing good. We had gone through and pulled a bunch of them out of the bottom, extra ones. And the pond. I'm a little late today, although it's not that late. It's only about three o'clock in the afternoon. We have had so much rain here, it's unbelievable. But the lilies, a couple hours ago they were open, and around this pond there's probably, on any given day at this point, 100, 150 lily blooms. It's really beautiful. I'll do another video here in a few days or a week or two showing the lilies. See some 
I don't know if you can see the bluegill fish or not. We had a little bit of trouble with some different types of aquatic weeds popping up this year. I had some grass carp in there and uh, it looks like they're starting to do their job. I don't know if they were waiting for the water to warm up a bit, but they've been in there for several years. And we'll give them a little bit of time and see. So I hope everybody's doing well. Take care. Oh, one more thing on the bamboo here. These bamboo, all of these right here in this little patch popped up this year. So just one. These have only been up for about maybe four weeks, six weeks, somewhere around there. And you can see they're really... Uh, really big the tops I'm guessing they're probably almost 15 feet up to the tallest ones that whole group right there that whole group all popped up this year isn't that amazing six weeks from nothing to that take care everybody